So the iPhone 10 is here and I think for a lot of folks it is the iPhone that they've been waiting for. Full bezel-less display, the phone looks beautiful, the screen is awesome, finally high resolution, and Face ID. And with that new way to unlock your phone came a ton of questions, especially from me when it comes to security and also real world usage. How's it gonna work in direct sunlight? What if I grow a beard? What if I change my hair? Apple made some security claims on stage that it wouldn't work with masks. We wanted to test all of these things and some more to see how Face ID actually would perform out in the real world. So this is JB. JB does most of our motion graphics, and JB also can grow a pretty sweet man beard, which he volunteered to do for the past two weeks. As dudes, our facial hair can change. So we're gonna set up face ID with JB with, with beard, and then we're gonna shave it and see if it, see if it works. Here you go. So JB's clean, clean shave. JB embarrasses easily. This is a big, this is a big deal for him. So first, beard JB or shave JB? Leave it in the comments down below. Most importantly, let's try Face ID, and this is the first time we've tried it since he shaved. Unlock your phone. It worked. So polarized sunglasses, Face ID. If you're driving, you're probably gonna have these suckers on. And you're in a car. Let's see how it works. Unlocked. So what about bizarre matte looking polarized sunglasses? Let's see how these work. That worked too. So what about Spider-Man's welder glasses? All right, let's give it a shot. Nope. I guess these crazy goggles are keeping things, keep my eyes out of it, or it's not letting the dots see my face, but if you're, if you're a welder, Face ID is not gonna be your friend. So one of the biggest security concerns I had with Face ID was can somebody unlock your phone while you're sleeping? Let's, let's test it. Doesn't work. No dice. Your information's safe from Sneaky Bay. So like, what if you're a really sound sleeper or maybe they took a sleeping pill? No, it didn't work. Thank goodness, that was creepy. So Apple made a point in their keynote to say Face ID will not be fooled by a mask. I'm not talking like Halloween mask. I mean like a nightmare fuel mask that looks just like your face. This one was made using only three stills. You could get those stills from any video you might have of somebody. So let's go ahead and see if this will work. Creepy Jabberwocky. Nope, no dice. So in another scenario, we wanted to see if Face ID could unlock in like the middle of the night if you're laying in bed in complete darkness. Unlocked, no problem. So a concern I know a lot of people had was what if you change hairstyles, if you're a lady and you can grow bangs, you can grow your hair out, is your phone still gonna be able to unlock? So we wanted to test it with some wigs. All right. I have not tried these on yet, so we'll see how they look. Yeah. Does it work for me? Let's see if it works. No. No. Does not like this wig, did not unlock. Wig number two. My long flow of locks. <laughs> All right. Let's see if this one works. That unlocked the second try. Did not work the first time. Georgie? How about Pennywise? Oh, it loves Pennywise. Unlocked, no problem. So a more likely scenario is that you go from long hair to short. So we're gonna set up Face ID with the wig on and then take it off and see how it works. So let's just check to make sure it works. Lock, no problem. All right, 
I'm having, having a midlife crisis. I want to shave my head. Wig comes off. Let's see how it works. Unlock, no problem. So earlier face unlocking technologies could sometimes be fooled by a picture or a video of the face. So let's see how Face ID does a picture of my face. Not unlocking. So direct sunlight's obviously another use case. Let's see how Face ID does. Unlock, no problem. And since we're outside, a more likely use case for sunglasses. Let's try that again. Regular polarized. Unlock, no problem. These weird matte polarized lenses. Unlock, no problem. Spider-Man's goggles. Still doesn't work. So overall, I came away pretty impressed with Face ID. Aside from the notch stealing my hairline, it worked about as well as I could expect. I was surprised that it didn't work with that one wig, but overall with almost everything else, it worked well. I had a bit of concern with direct sunlight and unlocked really fast. When JB shaved his beard, I don't know if you guys could see it, but it unlocked almost instantaneously. It seems like it takes a little bit longer than when you used to put your thumb on Touch ID, but there isn't the time of you having to move your hand to put it on top of there. So it seems like it's about a one-to-one. -one. Came across, at least initially, pretty impressed with Face ID. We'll use our iPhone 10 and our full review to let you know if that changes, but in almost every scenario where we expected it to work, it did, and in scenarios where we hoped it wouldn't work, it didn't perform. So. So far, so good for Face ID. But how have your experience been with Face ID? Has it worked for you, not worked for you? I'd like to know, leave in the comments down below. So JB was choice number two for the beard. This has been happening for a long time. We tried to get Jesse to shave it for the video, but he wasn't being a team player. But I'm saying it on camera, if we get 30,000 likes on this video, Jesse's gonna shave his beard. 30,000. So, like the video, because you wonder what that face looks like without, without, without that happening. <laughs>